hi friends welcome back to my channel my name is Natalia and welcome to house of Natalia today I have a review and first impressions of the Jouer foundation and it is a 0.6 fluid ounce foundation so it's actually a lot less this foundation retails for $38 on the Sephora app so I'm shaking it really well it's got a glass packaging so it feels really sturdy it's so small like look at the palm of my hand it fits right in the palm of my hand this one is just the one that I had I had done a previous video on stellar limitless foundation if you haven't checked that out go ahead and check it out but it's definitely a lot bigger this one is obviously one fluid ounce, which is the standard size of foundations. So what I'm to expect is that it's lightweight, long wearing. It has supreme coverage, not full coverage. It has supreme coverage in an impeccable airbrushed finish that's mattifying. A small drop is all you need to achieve a picture perfect look. This formula combines chamomile cucumber extract to help soothe and calm your skin while hyaluronic acid helps support natural hydration and keeps you feeling flawless all day. We'll see. It says to shake well on the bottle. Because it's a mattifying finish, I really want a primer that's going to hydrate my skin. Becca, first light again. Don't, don't get the brows. All right, so I've got that primer on now, and I had already moisturized my face with um, my eye cream and my moisturizer. So it says one pump. Well, it says even the littlest is great for the entire face. So this side I'm going to apply with my fingers. This side I'm going to apply with my brush. Hello. Oh my god. Hello. Oh, if this pump doesn't work. We're just going to um, take it <laughs> from the thing on the back of my hand. I don't know if that ruins the formula because now it's been exposed to air. Oh my god. Oh. See, and I forgot that only you need a little pump and now that I had to open up the packaging. Oh my gosh. Oh no, my brows. Oh my god. It's so much. Yikes. It is very mattifying. Like, almost instantly mattifying. You can't play around with it for too much because it, oh yeah, it dries down really quickly. Because that dried down really quickly, I'm going to use my sponge to add additional um, movability. Yeah, look at, that's normally where I have my um, sunspot. That dried down really quickly. And it is super full coverage. The match is alright. I can make it work. It's, um, it's not bad. I'm going to use the Morphe M439. I wish the pump didn't break. Because now I feel like I just put too much on and I wasted a lot of product. This brush works really well with it. So for this foundation, I would be happy to use a brush. I don't use a brush for all my foundations. Sometimes I rotate between my hands and my sponge. But this one kind of like grabbed onto the foundation really, really well and um, spread it really evenly. So I am happy about that and I will 
continue to apply it with a brush. It looks a lot smoother applied with my brush versus my fingers. I do look airbrushed. I do feel like a full coverage airbrushed queen. So the craziest thing just happened. I had to pause because my husband had to come in here, but I was like telling him that I was pissed that the pump wasn't working. Guess what? Guess what? <laughs> you saw it wasn't working and now it's freaking working. And now I freaking wasted a whole two faces, three face. This could be three days, but look at that's interesting. Look at how runny that is. Usually those mattifying foundations don't have that kind of technology where it's that runny, especially if it's a mattifying liquid. I'm going to go ahead and apply the rest of my face. This will be fast forwarded. So I just had to spray myself down extra with the Kat Von D Locket setting spray because I felt a lot more mattified. And when you have a mattifying foundation, sometimes it can feel drier. And that's what I felt. I felt like it was just soaking up my skin. <laughs> so um, this is the final look. The time is 9.59, so basically 10 o'clock. Um, I get off of work at 8, so I'll come back and check in then. I'll try to check in throughout the day. I don't know if I can, but I will try to. Um, you guys, I am finally back from work. If you can see it, the time is 7.30. So, <laughs> how long have you had this makeup on, Adalia? I've had this makeup on now for about nine hours, a little over nine hours. And I literally can't wait to take this off. <laughs> um, I did nothing to touch up. I did do a little bit more on my eyes. We got this new glitter in, so I wanted to really try it out. This foundation feels heavy and it could be because the pump broke and I couldn't pump out the appropriate amount. And so when I had to open up the screw and put it on the back of my hand, I might have applied too much. And so maybe that's the reason why I'm feeling like I just want to take it all off. I do notice that I don't have the foundation again around the tip of my nose, more so around here. And again, I'm creasing on my 11s and right through here. I do have my smile lines as well. It could be the amount of foundation that I put on. But I am noticing some separation like right around here too and accumulation of foundations right around my nose area. Blush is still on, which is great. Yeah, I'm just creasing so much, so much more than what I want. And it could be the amount of foundation that I put on. But I think I, again, I'm gonna have to try this again because one day isn't good enough or fair enough for me to just um, say that I really don't care for it. I touched nothing up. I really wanted to blot my nose and I really wanted to smooth out my 11s, but I didn't. I really wanted to smooth out underneath my eyes and around my mouth and I totally didn't. But like this is 10 hours without like touching anything up. So I, on first impression, would honestly give this like a 2.5 three if I'm being generous. I do want to try this again and give this another shot. I'm going to play around with layering with it. Maybe there might be a bonus video. 7.49 p.m. It's been around about eight and a half hours of me having this on. Today, because I only did one pump, it's all right. <laughs> 
I do still feel matte. Do I like this foundation? The application is so much better with a brush. I'm not completely blown out of the park with it. It is amazing how full coverage it is for how thin the texture is. It has a really quick dry down, so you have to play with it really quickly. I find that it does oxidize a little bit, just a little bit. I also want to add that it still feels heavy but I'm still getting the feeling of like, I can't wait to take this foundation off. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go do that. Make sure you hit like, make sure you comment and subscribe. I'm gonna come at you with more videos and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.